Right, oh, this is a short video, guys. I only have 30 minutes of my phone. I don't hate what I'm saying. So I'm, I'll make an hour and like, I don't know, 14 minute video for you guys. Last video was 33 part, 33 minutes. This video is 38 minutes. This is like an hour and like 13 minute video, guys. The best I can do, don't hate me what I'm saying. Had my battery been at like 90%, it would have been maybe an hour and 20 minute video, but an hour and 10 minute video, I know is nothing, because like when I speak, time flies. But this is the best I can do, right? <clears throat> yeah. And stay tuned. April, I will start vlogging. My first vlog will be at St. Hubert's. My second vlog will be at Dinty's. I'm gonna bus to Dinty's. I won't film myself on the bus, busing or no. I'm gonna focus on me eating in the restaurant. I'm gonna eat at the bar area. I'm gonna have a couple of drinks. I'm gonna order myself like a small pizza for myself or a medium pizza. A small pizza maybe with garlic bread or something like that. I'm gonna drink and I'm gonna flirt with the bartender who works there. <laughs> she told me her name, I forget her name. The bartender who works, I forget her name. She's pretty hot, she's blonde. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you further this time. It, it, whenever I get a chance to talk, I'm gonna keep talking to her, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're looking at a show, man, yeah. St. Hubert's, I'll try to do that too. And after that, I might vlog at Boston Pizza. I'll bust the boss, I'll bust the Boston Pizza. Then I'll vlog there. And Boston Pizza has a lot of hot waitresses there, man. Really? Yeah, yeah. All the waitresses who work there are hot. <laughs> yeah, Boston Pizza. Unless some of them don't work there anymore, but I remember when I went there like in 2018, they were a lot, they were hot waitresses there, man. Yeah. That's why I'm doing my takeouts for Zanus. Which brings me to my topic. The last hope for Zanus. I was going to talk about the Matrix, guys. But I don't have the table or the laptop. Hence why I'll, I'll save it for another time. Save that talk for another time, Sam Yeah. Man, one reason why I don't like talking about the Matrix is because it's not guaranteed I'm going to make sure I might end up just doing the great save of Keanu Reeves as Paul Johansson. Sam I kind of do want to do the Great Escape in a way over the Matrix in a way too, because you're looking at an amazing story. Like we're running away from a big secret organization. Because the Matrix, I have to make all these calls. I have to purchase the rights off the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of work. The Great Escape is my brand, man. It's my IP. Obviously, some sire. Well, I might not do the Matrix. I don't know, but I might just do the Great Escape with Keanu Reeves. I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. Obviously, that's why it's tough. I might have you guys vote. Would you rather do The Matrix, They're Unique, The Hidden Vampire Movie, and The Western Guys Movie, or The Matrix Trilogy? Which would you rather prefer? It's, it's a tough choice. I mean, that's fucking tough because it's fucking cool seeing you in The Matrix kicking ass. At the same time, it's fucking cool seeing you as a secret agent running away from a big secret organization where you're seeing another. Also, I'm mean, sick to see your romance story with Ivan and Steven another. That's fucking cool. Beautiful music. And they hit that movie. That's an amazing movie, too. Yeah. But somebody tells you most fans will pick The Matrix. <laughs> it's a fucking Matrix, obviously, yeah. Oh, Ivan, mean, man, do that Matrix trilogy, man, yeah. Could Michael be Jordan, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about Zanus now. So Zanus, I'll make for $1.2 billion, $50 million. And that will be based off my novel that I wrote. My last hope for Zanus novel that I wrote. That's what will be based off. Looking at the best romance novel written, by the way. And so the, the royalties I make off my book sales, so you know what I'm saying, that money I'm going to use to start my Sky Source Film Studio with my sister and other. I'm sorry. Yeah. How much will you make off your book, Ivan? I think either seven to nine billion dollars. Around there, right? I might make seven, eight or nine, but I, I think I'm gonna make nine. Nine, maybe nine point five, nine point eight billion bucks off the book. And I'm gonna use that money to to, to build my, my, my five hundred million dollar condo, five hundred million dollar studio lot, ground bill studio lot for my company, one point two billion dollars towards the movie and four sixty million dollars towards the game. Yeah. I'm going to use that to buy my jets, like Incredibles. 300 million jet, 10 million generations, like Incredibles. 
a small like Saudi Menard jet, four million dollars worth of renovations like Incredibles, pimp it out. My seventy million dollar yacht, that yacht I showed you, yeah. Buy my clothes, buy my at least my cars, get my get my clothes, all that stuff. Vacations, yeah, that's what's for. The personal and the business, obviously. Yeah. And Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson are my top two candidates for the movie project. They're going to have to compete for the job. Whoever answers the better questions, that's the director I'm hiring, obviously. Peter, I'll pay him his 85 million, 100 million years old deal. His 485, 590, 600 million years old deal for the royalties in the movie, box office royalties. And 105 million for the merch, which is like a one, like, 3 million deal. 125 million deal in his own money. So Peter signed his six like 85 million Canadian deal around there. Six nine million Canadian deal, which is an eight fourteen million New Zealand deal. So Peter signed an eight hundred plus million deal. Because he's greedy, he wants more. I want to double that up. Like Peter, no, I'm not paying you double. You're fucking greedy. <laughs> no seriously, Ivan, can I get like a nice like six hundred million dollars of that, Ivan? I'm like Peter, you're already making that on your New Zealand money. I know, Ivan. I want like six hundred, and you're Canadian. Because I want my seven, seven, eight hundred million dollars in my seven fifty million dollars in my use of money. He's greedy, obviously. He wants his billion deal. Yeah, his nine hundred fifty billion deal. He's a greedy pig, obviously. Like Peter, Peter, Peter. No, I'm not paying more money, man. This is enough. I, you're, make, you're gonna make your billions off this live. I'm like Peter. Like, like you're pushing it, man. Like you're, you're affecting my budget, man. This is a lot of my. This is a lot of the money, man. It's nothing, I mean, Yeah, no, it's not nothing, Peter. Four six hundred million dollars. Forty-five million dollars. That's almost five hundred million dollars. If I make seven million bucks on the movie and I give you five hundred million dollars, that's a lot of money, man. That's a good chunk of it. I invested like two, like four, four billion dollars of money into all this. You know what I'm saying? With the movie, the game, the studio lot, that's like two point three, two point four billion, and your salary, that's like two point four billion dollars in in cost. Not oh, even like seven billion dollars is an amazing return, I know, but you're taking five hundred million dollars of that. Now, and Amazon's taking 20% of the cut. Some Sarah? This is enough. This is Bill Ivan. That's a fucking master card. This is the Bible for the Rings, guess. That's a good for Peter Ivan. You know, say his age will tell me. That's a good for Peter Ivan. We're just being asked. This is this is more than my computer. He doesn't even make this in Hollywood. Yeah, this is the biggest contract ever for director, you guess. Except my deal and stop complaining. Is it Bill Ivan? That's a lot of money. I'm like, yeah. It's a lot of money, Ivan. I want a bit more. I want like 500, 550, $600 on my back. I know, Peter, you're greedy. You want you smell wonder why you want more money, but I'm not giving more money. Stop being greedy. Some sound. The Mel payment is fifty six million base for the movie, two seventy million dollars for the box office royalties, and like forty five million dollars for the forty four forty to forty five million dollars for the merch. So you sound like a three seventy one million deal, which is like a three I don't know thirty million American deal for Mel Gibson. Massive contract. Not Peter's contract, but it's still a massive contract. Uh, that blows all these actors and CEOs contracts out of the water in Hollywood. And Sarah, as a lot of actors in Hollywood even make more than the CEOs, because actors are actors are actors in a way are kind of bigger than CEOs in Hollywood, to be honest. Bob Iger made thirty one million dollars this year in his salary, and he probably got maybe a twenty million bonus. He made maybe fifty million bucks. Some actors get more than that in Hollywood. Than Hollywood. In some cases, yeah. Some actors even make more than the CEOs in Hollywood. That's how it works, yeah. Because actors are the stars, the, the advertisers of your movie. Yeah, the big ones, right? Yeah. The question is who is better for the job? Peter or Mel? I don't know. You're gonna add that remains to be seen, obviously. But something tells me, man. It's a gut feeling you have. Somebody tells me I want to go for Mel. I like talking about Peter Law, but I think Mel might be the better guy, man. I might choose Mel, man. Yeah. But Peter might be the better guy, too. He's, he, he's, he's going to bring my fancy world to life. Peter Jackson. He's going to bring it to life, man. Yeah. Mel Gibson will, too. Obviously. But somebody tells me I might choose Peter, too. I might just go for Peter. He's a fancy guy. Right, you're fucking crazy. Go for Peter. He did Lord of the Rings. Yeah, he did Lord of the Rings, obviously. So, Sarah? Hey, every child, I heard like Peter. No, I'm not paying you more money. You're fucking greedy. You're greedy pig. Ivan, right, what about the game? Are you going to get Peter a piece of that? I'm like, no, he's not going to get a piece of the game. Ivan, right, can I get a nice, like, $43 of that? Ivan, mean, like, no. No, Peter. 
<laughs> You're fucking greedy. <laughs> He's a greedy pig. Like, Peter, man, you want to suck every penny dry from every section of the movie. I mean, man, like, like I, I'm building your empire, man. I know, Peter, but you're blind by your greed, man. You want, like, you want, you want this, you want that, you want this, you want to suck every penny dry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I'm fucking greedy, man. I want more money, man. Like, you're, it's not fur that you're making, like, $7 million on your movie. You sign on Master of Arms. I want to bring a check of that. I'm like, Peter, no, you're not getting any more of this. You're not worth any more of this. You rip me off. The only way I'll pay you more is if I make more. If I make $15 billion of the book, I'll know I'll make that for the movie. You can, I can give you $600 million in royalties. You sign your, your like, billion deal. If I make 20, I can give you 850. You sign your, like, billion, three, five deal. Some Sarah? Yeah. Because I know I'm going to make so much money out of the movie. It's pocket change. But if I make nine, I'm not giving you more than 45, as I'm probably going to make maybe $7.5 million of the movie, maybe. Eight. Seven billion bucks. I mean, how much money do you think you'll make out of your movie? Something tells me around like $7 billion around there, $7.5 million around there. But you got to be careful with Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson. Don't let these guys dupe you. And the Hollywood actors too. Well, for Zanius, I don't have any big actors. But for The Great Escape and The Matrix, you have to be careful. Don't let these actors dupe you whereby you're giving them $250 million in royalties. And they're ripping you off when they're not worth that. It's I'm I'm not going any higher than $125 million for my company. That's enough for the royalties. For the big A-list actors, obviously. They don't even make that in Hollywood. Yeah. Whereas B's actors and writing stars don't get shit. It's after the Zane's actors. It's a special story. From Sarah. Yeah. But let's say I choose Peter. I talk about Peter more. I might perhaps should choose Peter Romel, to be honest. <laughs> Obviously. He has to help me call out the script the night is over every morning. Take your trust off Peter. We only work on a movie for like three hours a day. But he has to do notes after the concert outside in his hotel. With Get him all Toro and his wife Fran help him out. George help him out. He takes like notes for like the four pages that we wrote that day. And you have to study your notes. That way you're prepped and you don't wing it and you, and you have uh, uh, a what? Creativity. When you direct, since Aaron, you're prepped. Like you were for Lord of the Rings. You were not prepped for The Hobbit. That's why the movie was not, the movies were, the, the third movie was a, was a mess. It was terrible. Peter even admitted that the third movie he didn't like. He didn't like the movie I heard. He said it was a bad movie. Yeah, the third movie was not a good movie. It was pretty bad. I saw it in theaters and I was bored. It was very, whereas Desolation Smog was very interesting when I said that was actually pretty good on theaters. And uh, Unexpected Journey was very interesting too. Arguably my favorite. But I kind of like this, Desolation of Smog the best. I like the whole thing with Tariel and Legolas, Legolas's father. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty cool. I like the whole thing with, with Smog in the end, with Bilbo. That was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? And the dragon ends up escaping the mountain. And then, what's his name again? Bardem? Is that his name? The guy who has a spear, obviously. He, he, ends, he tries to slay the dragon, obviously. He has a spear. The, the, the one spear, the one spear left that can that can that can kill smog, right? That was really interesting on theaters, right? Whereas um, the third one I did not like that much on theaters, man. I did not like it. That's when Peter's wing it copped him. That's why you have to prep. I don't you wing it for my Zane school. So, so once I sign Peter, he signs that master contract. I'll take him and Fran and get him all Toro and like Barry Osmond also my dinner at Boston Pizza and they get the pirate at my condo and then the limo driver will take him to the nice hotel suite. And then the next day, we, we all have to start work. The, 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 the board meetings, and me, and I, we have me, Peter, we're going to lock ourselves in, in, in my office, and we're going we're gonna to have our coffee and tea, we're going to work, begin working on a script. We have the book right beside us, we, I have my notes, we look at the notes, we look at the book, we, look, we go page by page and we write the script. Obviously on my notebook. Or we can write on a computer, but... I don't, I don't focus as well when I write on a computer. I'm going to write on my notebook and I'll hire someone to type it down when we do the concerts. So, 9 to 12 is, 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 is script time. You know what I'm saying? Peter wakes up in the morning. He can take his nice swim in his hotel. I'll rent a hotel. I'll have him rent a hotel with a pool. He can, he can chill in jacuzzi. He can do a nice workout. He eats his breakfast. In the I'll have a, a restaurant with, um, 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 a restaurant breakfast area in, 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 in the hotel. 
for Peter. That way they can eat their breakfast at the hotel. Try to rent a hotel that has breakfast for Peter and them. That way they a buffet breakfast. That way they can eat their breakfast at the hotel. Obviously, whereas for lunch and dinner, it's paid for by the limo services taking them to the buffet restaurant. But for breakfast, try to have the the, the, the hotel have um breakfast for Peter and all them. And the limo driver will take him to my to my property. And at 9 o'clock, we start working on a script for three hours. Then from 12 to 1, we have, everyone gets one hour off for lunch. In the afternoon, it's all consorts. We talk to John Howe Allen, the other guy. Um, we talk about um, uh, the It the it concert art guy, right? Yeah. We talk about the characters, the world building, all that. So what do we want the, 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 the modern characters to look like? The world to look like? What do you want the weapons to look like? The costumes to look like? The armor to look like? The crows, the eagles, the mountains, land, Zanus, Safia, Cyrus, Barak. Achilles Cavern. And I showed him that picture I showed you. I want the world like this. Peter's like, Ivan, so you don't want your world to, to look like Seventh Lord of the Rings? I'm like, no, I want it to look totally different. I want to copy Lord of the Rings. Ivan, I, li I like that look. It kind of has that, like, that, like, mysterious Lion King feel. Uh, yeah, kind of that Lion King feel in a way. That's a beautiful world, Ivan. You're creative, Ivan. You're all prepped, though. I'm like, yeah. John Howell's like, John Howell, you're like, okay, Ivan, so you want your world to look like this? Yes. Oh, right, you gave us this. You have this like mist that veils north and the south. Yeah, the mist veils north and the south. And once you pass the mist, you're in a different territory, on the on the opposite sides. Obviously, the north is nice, holy, and beautiful. The south is the opposite. It's cursed, and all the demon wolves live there, and the demon bats live in the mountains, the western mountains. Those are masterpieces. The southerns live there. You know what I'm saying? The Safians and the Syrians. They all live there. Yeah. Look at an amazing movie. He's like, I've been looking at a fucking masterpiece. And all the demon wolves live there, uh, in, 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 in Eretat's kingdom. Well, he's the king of the south. Yeah, I've been looking at a masterpiece. This is Burrow of the Rings. Yeah, it's Pierce Burrow of the Rings. Looking at a masterpiece, man. I don't know. Obviously. So, Monday to Thursday after lunch, me and my seven other, Peter and all them, we do the concert arts for the movie. And then every Friday is business calls for me, my seven other, and Peter. So we work on a script from 9 to 12. We eat our lunch. And then after lunch, Peter will be with me in my office with my seven other. And we make the calls for all the main things. It's a hotel party. I'm going to rent Burgess Talk Hotel. Peter's like, all right, you're renting that hotel for the red carpet event? I'm like, yeah, it's a holy shit. And a two-day party there for the cast and crew. All you can drink? I'm like, yeah, it's Ivan. That's top notch. This is Brandon Hollywood. I'm like, yeah, he's Brandon Hollywood. I said, Ivan, do I get sweets? Yeah, I, yeah, Peter, you get the sweets. Get the sweets. You get the sweets. You and your wife, Fran, get the sweets. I could have Peter bring his children, but, like, I don't know. Because Peter's my director, I could have him bring his two children, but he'll have grandkids by then. He'll guarantee to have grandkids. His kids will be, like, in their mid-30s by then, right? He's going to have grandkids. Peter could perhaps bring his two children, but he can't bring his grandkids. Because there they won't be enough room. Either he's gonna have to hire a babysitter to take care of his grandkids and all stuff. When, 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 when during the party, obviously they'll be left behind. Obviously, don't hate him. Saying, yeah. The chances are no. Peter cannot bring his children. He can only bring his wife. His wife Fran's part of the new project. Only his wife Fran, because you have to create room for the crewmen and, and the actors. They're they're the priority over 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 the over other members of your family. You guys see what I'm saying here? Because they worked on the movie project. That's my point. Don't hate him. Saying, yeah. My deal is $10.1 million for the deal for Burger Jack Hotel for the red carpet event and the hotel party. I'm not going any higher now. If they want more, I'm like, guys, you ripped me off. I'm not going to pay $20 million. You ripped me off. I have I have, I have, have to watch this for my budget. You ripped me off. I know you're greedy. You want more money. This is enough. You're pocketing millions for yourself. Stop being greedy and accept my deal. It's a deal. I mean, this is, realistically speaking, the deal should be like, yeah, the deal should be like $5 million bucks. And I'm overpaying you $10.1 million. I'm generous. That way you can pocket some more money for yourself. Sarah, because I know I'm gonna make billions on movies, so it doesn't hurt to, 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 to give the owners a good deal. They pocket millions, but like you're pushing, I'm not gonna pay any more than ten million dollars. Ten million dollars for the deal, one hundred k in lot in damages, because I want an inside and out party. Oh, so people drink at yeah, people drink in the pool area, the the steam pool out the the outside steam pool area. You drink your margaritas there. It's an inside and out party. What about smoking? Can we smoke? Ivan, you can't smoke. Like, I'm willing to give you like even like maybe an extra 20k in damages, 50 grand in damages 
if you think it's one of those they say no, it's fine. We just smoke outside, obviously. And I want the party in the in the fall or summertime, not wintertime. That way, people can party inside and out. I'm saying, in the pool area and everything. I'm saying, I'm not doing a party in the wintertime. No, I'm doing it in in the in, 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 in the fall or or the summer or the summer or summertime or late spring when there's no snow. Late spring is fine too, obviously, when there's no snow, right? But preferably fall and su or summer. And my deal is temporary when I was with deal. Peter has to help me. I might say when others sign that deal. Obviously, he's a boss. He's a boss over the movie. Obviously, he also has to help me with the IMS cameras. I'm gonna rent like I don't know, sixteen of the best IMS cameras. That's enough. Peter, is sixteen cameras of IMS it's enough. Yeah, sixteen cameras is enough. We rent sixteen cameras for the movie. The film IMS cameras, obviously. And you record for the cameras. Peter knows all about us. Knows all about that stuff. The visual effects technology for the movie. Obviously, equipment for the movie, for the special effects team to work, we have to make those calls. You know what I'm saying? The costumes, so the sewing machines for creating, custom making the costumes, the tools for the weapons, arm and weapons, we have to make those calls. And the machines for printing the best 3D print prosthetic masks for all the demonic characters. The best ones in the world we're going to rent. Oh, you're the we're looking at you beautiful mask, man. They're going to create horrific mask. <laughs> like that video I showed you. He was like, oh, you want Eric to look like that? I'm like, yeah, he's like, holy shit. A hybrid plane was in town. He's like, holy shit. Looking at a devil. I'm like, yeah, you're looking at a devil, Peter. Looking at a devil. Looking at a devil, yeah, man. I'm sorry. Looking at a devil, yeah. Then Peter has to help me with kitchen equipment, obviously, where the chefs are going to cook the food. And he has to help me with the uh, the food. I have more food thing to serve them. I'm like, yeah, Peter, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking I'm serving a buffet. Oh, a buffet, Ivan. Yeah, Ivan, for one of the reasons we had a buffet, too. I know, Peter, but you did not eat the food that I'm serving you guys. Ivan, what are you thinking of? I'm like, yeah, Peter, I'm thinking of this. Like, all you can eat hamburger sliders, they grow peas up with tin. Ribs, wings, like a bunch of options of teriyaki, rice and meats, chicken balls. You know what I'm saying? A huge salad bar with sushi, macaroni salad, potato salad, vegetarian salad, fish. You know what I'm saying? Chicken for cob salad, all these vegetables, corn, peas. It's like, holy shit. All you can drink vending machine. You know what I'm saying? Where you can mix the drinks like Subway, yeah. All you can drink milkshake peas. like, cool. And, and, and uh, unheard of breakfast and dessert. It's like, holy shit, Ivan. He's like, for, for all the reasons we didn't eat this kind of food, we ate like shittier food, spaghetti, meatballs, that kind of stuff. I'm like, yeah. You're going to be pulls out of the water, Ivan. Yeah, Ivan, they're going to work harder for you for this kind of food. Yeah. Yo, Ivan, mean, it's not fun working for one for one year in the middle of nowhere in the wilderness. If you serve this kind of food, they're, they're going to work harder for you, Ivan. Yeah, Peter, I know what I'm doing. The crew and actors are going to work hard for us. Peter has so many calls for that. We call like the best farms in Switzerland. Peter, make sure we call a farm near where we're, where we're shooting, right? A farm maybe an hour away. That way, every week they ship, they, 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 the order comes in, they bring all the food. They're gonna, every week, they're going to be bringing in a bunch of, I don't know, six trucks come in every week and they bring a bunch of food because we're feeding 1,500 people every day. <laughs> That's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. At Coco Fruit, we only feed like 300 customers on weekends. And you have a big order come in for that. You can only imagine 1,500 people. You're looking at like six trucks. <laughs> Something crazy. And that's why the chefs are going to be doing that dirty work. They have to stock all the, the, the food in the fridge. Guys, make sure you rotate the fucking food. Don't waste my fucking money, huh? Make sure you rotate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell um, the head chefs, Eric Chong for RM, make sure you tell the, the dishwashers and chefs when they stock the order in the fridge to rotate it. Always rotate it, guys. I don't want you waste. I don't want food going to waste. And you you waste my fucking money. So, man, you listen to me because I'm paying a lot of money and I'm the boss, obviously. I'll tell Peter, I'll tell my 17 to let Eric know. Because they're the boss over him too, obviously. Let Eric know, tell him to always stock the food. Obviously, that way you don't, that way food doesn't get spoiled. Looking at a lot of food coming in. Yeah, Peter has some money that calls for that for the farms. And sign the four groups of crewmen, wetter workshop, mass designers, costume designers, and extras. Those people we have to sign first year, they have to start working second year. And early second year, 
My second is what the actors' agents know. We start flying in all the Zane stars. Carl Urban, John Mayaga, Idris Elba, Avon, Joe J, Andy Serkis, from Sarah. Mariana Grande, Daniel Manette, John Rice Davis, Angelina Bassett, Don Cheadle, all those guys. Jimo Hansu, yeah. Peter, don't be cheap. Pay Avon to pay his uh, people who have not. Don't pay him 500k. I mean, that's good enough. I'm like, no, Peter, don't pay him that. Be pissed off at you, man. You want to work hard for you, no, Ivan, that's what he's worth. I know that's what he's worth. My company has hard paying work. Pay him 3.5. You don't have to pay him four, which he won't, obviously. We'll pay him 3.5. Like he's by by for the movie, obviously. I don't know. Pay him 3.5. Okay, fine. Pay him 3.5 if you don't want to pay him four. And give him royalties for the movies. That way he's invested for, for, for in, your, in the movie together with us, Ms. Aaron. And he works hard for you. He destroys the role of Papari. I know what I'm doing. John Baega destroys the role of Tassoni. If you thought his acting in Star Wars was good, he's looking at an even better performance. Because I paid him more money. He's making, for Star Wars, he only made, I think, like, 400 grand for the first movie. And I heard he got, a, like, maybe a million, a million, like, five dollars in royalties or something like that for the movie. And he bought his parents a house, I heard. He bought his, he used that money to buy his parents a house. Yeah. Now, after we signed the stars, we take them out to Mike's dinner at Boston Pizza. I showed you the uh, Boston Pizza. Yeah, it's a beautiful bar restaurant. They serve like spaghetti, meatballs, garlic bread, zucchini sticks. Do they, yeah, I think they use. They think they have zucchini sticks, chicken wings, pizza, hamburger with fries, chicken nuggets, salad, chicken salad, uh, vegetarian salad, all that nice stuff, man. They have good food. It's one of the best bar restaurants in Canada. It's a Canadian company and it's called Boston Pizza. It's not, Boston Pizza is not an American company, guys. It's a Canadian company. It's, the owner is Jim True Living. He's on Dragon's End, which is like the uh, Shark Tank of Canada. He's worth like, he's almost a billionaire. He's worth like $800 million. He's the owner of Boston Pizza. Jim True Living, that's his name, yeah. He's also a part owner of the Calgary, the NHL Calgary Flames, I believe. Yeah, Jim True Living has an ownership stake in the Calgary, the NHL, the NHL's Calgary Flames, I think. Yeah, he has an ownership stake in the, in the NHL's Cal Calgary Flames, I believe. I think so, I'm not sure. He also owns Mr. Lube, which is another company. That's why he's worth $800 million. Mr. Lube is like a... Uh, Car wash company, I think, in Canada. It's a big company in Canada, yeah. He owns, like, yeah, three businesses. That's why he's worth, like, $800 million. He's loaded, man, yeah. Some Sarah? Please, Ivan, you have no idea how much buzz your movie will have, man. You want Aerotan and Demonic Beans to look like this, be even scarier? Ivan, depending on the town, this is Demonic B. Imagine an arm like that marching on. Obviously, and the civilians are all scary. Looking at a mastery side, he's a devil wolf in itself. He's a, he's a, he's a psychotic wolf, and he's a badass fire. No one fucks him. Looking at a mastery side, Ivan, I mean, two hundred three million dollars. Looking at unheard of action scene, which is unheard of horror, realization of horror, unheard of world building, like beautiful, like more beautiful than this Chromecast picture here. I'm like, yeah, Peter, I can't wait for this movie. I know I'm excited too. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I can't wait for this movie. I'm excited too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Damn, this will be crazy. I'll get my car for part three. I forgot about that. I'll get my car for part three. Let's see. So, Ivan, how much money do you think you'll make off your movie merchant game? Probably, I don't know, 13 billion bucks in total around there. $12 billion for all that. I'll make around there. Probably three billion for the merch, two point five, two point seven billion for the game, and like seven billion for the movie. Around there, I'll make. So I make maybe twelve billion bucks off all that. Me and my sister, I was gonna make twelve billion dollars, and Amazon pulls in maybe three point eight billion or something like that. Four billion dollars of that, they they pull in billions, a lot of money for Amazon. Yeah, that's more than what the biggest grossing movies made in, in Hollywood. As Amazon's making a lot of money off my company. That's why they're going to love me, my suit, and other obviously. And the deal is 72 28 
You guys own the distribution rights, but I own the production rights and I still own the brand. You just own the distribution rights, the right to distribute my brand and merch, my merch and movie. That's it. Don't hate it. Show my camera.